content arrives faster with your support on Patreon. Donate today and receive awesome rewards. Thank you. Father? Father, is that you? Good to see you. How long has it been? Where are my manners? Please, have a seat so we can catch up. Wouldn't need to catch up if you broke yourself out already. But I'm rehabilitating, Tenya. And to get the most out of therapy, I must play by the rules. Haven't even tried using mind control once on any of the guards. Okay, uh, I did it once to get extra dessert, but it's okay to be a little sinful in prison, right? <laughs> sinful enough to wipe everyone's knowledge of our continued dialogue, I hope. As always. You're really doing okay in here, sir? Therapy has allowed me to achieve a peace of mind I've never felt before. The guards are friendly and let me listen to my favorite music. And my fellow inmates are... Turn that garbage off! I only listen to Creed! Fascinating. Was that stain? How is that possible? You sit in the presence of God and ask what is possible? Uh, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm not supposed to speak like that anymore. Also... I'm being impolite and making this conversation all about me. How are you doing, Tenya? Losing sleep over the fact that we left a lot of loose ends, sir. And I'm gonna need your help with one in particular. Hero Society is the last remaining bastion of my dearest daughter's presence in this world. I will not undermine her justice by escaping or emanating my influence outside these walls. Especially not for that bastard grandson. That little bastard could spell the end of Hero Society as we know it. And I trust you can defend it. Choosing Bakugo as the next All for One was not a slight at your abilities, Tenya. Combine that strength with your friends, and Hero Society will not only be safer, but better. Your approval means more than you know. And imagine how yours would make others feel. You never needed me to make your dream a reality. Only your faith. Share it. If only I still had everyone's trust for them to accept it. I believe I'm not the only one in need of a little reboot and recovery. Take this refractory period in the League's activities to heal yourself and those relationships. <laughs> and have some fun for me's sake. You don't have to be so dour all the time. Great seeing you again, sir. You too, Stain. F*** you! How's my little brother? He's a little shit like you! I'm so proud of him! How do you do, fellow classmates? Excuse my tardiness with these cold ones. You didn't poison these, did you? Of course not. Who invited the traitor, was it you? Of course it was me. Everyone knows I'm easily bought with fruity bips. Pour it on me, boys. If an ambulance isn't hauling me out of here with a vitamin C overdose, then we ain't doing this right. We're chug, 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 chug. Yo, GI bro, I'll f you up, I'll f you up, I'll you. You're not. Special secret greetings are for bros only. But we're- Not bros anymore, Ida. If aiding Bakugo's rescue wasn't enough, what's it gonna take for me to turn this bromance around? You want me to do the voice again? That voice borders on the disturbing and offensive now. And, and earn it back? Clearly we were never bros to begin with. Yeah. Bros don't give up on each other, do they? Hey! Is that fade cut Boy, bothering you? Crap, am I the Bakugo now? Hey, come on now. Even if some of us are villains, we're UA students first. He's right, boys. Now back off my man. She's got a whistle! God, it was just starting to get good. If that's all it takes to placate you, Hellspawn, I should have given her one ages ago. Principal Aizawa! What's Ida still doing here? Can't say I didn't leak a document or two in my administration, but this turncoat nearly got us all killed! Wasn't exactly an upstanding young man myself. Now get to class, your professors are waiting. Which are also me. Budget cuts hitting UA that hard? They would if half the staff didn't already walk out on me. Which leaves room to invest in more whistles! Class 1A, meet your top ranking seniors in 3S. The big three? They're practically pros themselves! <laughs> And they're here to talk to you today about... Gun safety! No. Drugs? No. Sex ed? Too late for that! Oh, oh no! What's the point of having student helpers if you're not gonna be helpful? Just Justin Gramps, we're hip to what's happening! Can I get a what what? What? Prick up your ears and get cranked, nickel nurses, cause this is how cats like us can get the punch on gritting that cheddar, you dig! What? He's gauging your interest for enrolling into the work-study program. Isn't that just... more internships? Nope. 
Okay. <laughs> How can you talk without a mouth? How would you even be able to use a whistle? My mouth's underneath this scarf. Also, I can whistle without assistance from a device because I'm kind of a badass. The authority of the whistle was a lie! Ah! Ha! I knew it! As you told me, the whistles were a short-term solution to a long-term problem. But I didn't listen! Silence! Your new Whistle King demands order! That's not fair! You don't need lip flaps! Yes! Imagine all the monologuing I get to do now! You think this scarf's a fashion statement? Nice try, rookie. But I'm still sultan of soliloquy around these parts. Oh, man! Flew too close to the sun! Now! As Mirio was trying his hardest to unexplain, unlike your internships, this is a paid, safe, and effective learning program that most importantly, is regulated by the school board. So I'll finally have some free time away from- Aren't you on the school board too? Oh no, I'm on the school board too. <laughs> oh, I think I know a better way to get my point across. Mind if I test your students grit in the gymnasium? Yes, take them all, please. Weren't you gonna go take a nap? We don't have any medical staff on hand to treat the beatdown your classmates are about to receive. Also, I miss you all. Thanks for your vote of confidence. Take no offense to this fresh meat, but the only reason your dad is the number one hero is because Mirio is still in school. Why don't you come say that to my face, mate? I can't, I'm in timeout. And you'll stay in timeout until you learn how to be a good boy, fresh meat! I'm older than you. What was that? I'm a good boy. How do you beat a guy whose quirk makes him untouchable? Harm the people he cares about. Whoa, relax, we're just training. I can tell you from experience, an overpowered quirk only gets you so far. Now you're getting it. When I permeate like this, I can neither see, hear, nor feel. I was at a disadvantage. That is until my work study experiences help turn it into an advantage. <laughs> Fancy becoming top tier hero someday? We suggest taking our route. Though you will need provisional licenses before you can apply. We take you to the exam ourselves, but we no longer have bus drivers nor driver's licenses. Yeah, racer hand. I'm the only one at the school with a driver's license. <laughs> I'd love to take you under my decrepit wings once more, kid, but I'm reapplying for a license as we speak, and it's, uh, not looking good. I swear they place all this bureaucracy in the way just to keep Whitey down. One can only hope. And yet you seem fairly confident about passing this provisional exam. Don't get cocky because you have Protag hair in a primary color scheme, kid. That exam is no joke. It took Toshi three try- uh, 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 how are you holding up? I don't think about him much at all, really. Dude, I love Toshi like a son, but even I'll admit he was a lying, abusive, manipulative little prick. And he sure as hell wouldn't want you sulking over him. You deserve better friends, like that floating girl who tried to kill you. Or that speedster who tried to kill you. Or that explosion boy who tried to kill you to save you. Uh, Goddamn, what are you doing that makes everyone want to kill you? Existing. Jeez, now I want to be a good friend and kill you out of your misery. Treat this like a new starting point, kid. Surround yourself with new people. Get a new costume and treat yourself, girlfriend. You know what? I will. I hear capes are back in style. Aw, sounds like you're dipping back into senile mode, Torino. Take your meds and go to bed, okay? Bye! Don't disrespect the cape! Don't picture yourself in a cape. Don't picture yourself in a cape. Nothing good has ever happened to someone wearing a cape. Think about anything else but a goddamn cape. One punch and you're good as dead, kid. Whoa, that's, uh, that's rough, buddy. Say, Doc, can I take this free sample of Flintstone's chewable opioids home with me? For a friend. I think more than just a costume upgrade is in order. Gonna have to stop by the development studio and get an open carry license for these guns. Man, I'd probably kill myself if I couldn't use my fists in a fight. How am I the most hated here? Relax, he knows I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, come to bask in the shade of my plot armor once more, loser! Oh, oh, not finally! again! Answer me! I swear to Jesus Christ, King of the North, if one of your reckless ratcheteers got yourself killed again! <laughs> I'm fine! Death and resurrection is overrated uh, for people like us, right, Midoriya? Huh? <gasps> I... I'm... 
shipping it! Not this shit again! Ah! Is Nickel back in town? Time to face facts, gentlemen. We may be overprepared for this. And a tad bit overdressed. Yet somehow, I believe they still won't see us coming. Hey everyone, it's Midoriya! Thank you so much for watching. Videos like these are available first on our Patreon. And if you enjoy them, subscribe here and ring that bell to stay informed and stay entertained. Your viewership and support keeps Joyride's engines burning. Peace sign, I'm out.